Hi everyone and welcome back to Stamp with Anna. Today we're going to make this um, window card featuring the new Daisy Punch and stamp from the Stampin' Up! 2017-2018 annual catalog. And you can see this is a regular window card that I've made a million times, but this time the Daisy looks, she's, it can spin around and it looks like it's kind of floating. And I just love that look. So uh, what we need for supplies is the the Daisy Delight stamp set. We're going to use the Daisy in the little insert. And it has a coordinating uh, punch, which is the Daisy Punch. And these are um, available as a bundle. And the bundle is called the Delightful Daisy Bundle. And when you do order them as a bundle, you get 10% off of the price if you were to buy them separately. For inks, we're going to use Flirty Flamingo and Daffodil Delight. For paper, we're going to use some thick Whisper White because that's going to be our card base. It's four and a quarter by eleven, scored at five and a half. We have some Flirty Flamingo, four by five and a quarter, and we just have um, some Daffodil Delight and Whisper White. We're also going to use the Layering Circles Framelits, and I used the second largest circle and the second largest scallop. And that's what I used to make my um, frame there. So I'm going to put those aside. Then we need some Stampin' Dimensionals. And for this one here, the ribbon I used was um, Daffodil Delight Seam Binding. But I finally ran out of it. So I'm going to make this one using the Daffodil Delight Striped Gross Grain. And um, I think it'll look just as nice. We do need some repositionable tape, as well as some snail, and um, what I used to make my daisy spin here, you can see it very slightly right there, is some fishing line. My husband fishes, so I was able to get this from him. Um, if you couldn't find this, I guess you could use um, some clear dental floss or um, a baker's twine that didn't contrast too much if you had a piece of white baker's twine or you could probably try to um, make the frame the next size down so that you wouldn't have that space I'm not quite sure that that's um, that the daisy would spin as nicely but um, that's always an option and I don't know what other product is out there that would resemble this but um, I used like I said fishing twine because that's what I had because my husband fishes. And because our um, stamps are photopolymer, we are going to use our pierce mat to get a nice crisp image. So the first thing we're going to do is stamp our background. And to do that, I just randomly stamped the daisy using Flirty Flamingo onto Flirty Flamingo. And I just want to grab a piece of scrap paper. Okay, sorry about that. Because I'm going to be stamping off, I wanted to um, protect my pierce mat. So, first things first, just straighten this up here. I'm going to ink up the stamp and just randomly stamp. And I might just put one more petal right here. Maybe not. This long one right there. Okay. And I think that'll do me. So now what we have to do is make our window. And to do that, we are going to attach this so that we know where to place it. We're going to attach this with repositionable tape. Just a couple little lines. Because we're, we're going to take it off afterwards. And we're going to center that onto our card front. A card base, excuse me. Now I'm going to bring up my big shot and 
Let's push this out of the way here. I'm going to put this flat there, and I'm going to take my framelit, just the circle one, and I'm going to figure out where I want it. And I think I'm going to put it right here, because I'm going to leave a little bit of space here so that I can tie my ribbon. And once I have it where I want it, I'm going to run that through. And back again. We are going through two pieces of cardstock, so we want to make sure that it cuts all the way through. And yes, it did. So I'm going to move this out of the way. And I'm going to take that off. So now this is what we have. So now very carefully, we're going to just peel this off, okay, and okay, the next thing we have to do is to stamp our daisies, and we're going to stamp four of them, and I stamped them along um, that strip of white paper I had, and I've already punched three of them out, so I'm just going to show you this last one. On two of them, I did punch, uh, stamp the inside, the middle piece, in Daffodil Delight using this stamp here. On the other ones, um, I don't need to because they're going to be on the inside. So when I have my square, I'm going to just trim that corner off. And that's so that when I put it into my punch, these two points are a good way to be able to hold on to my paper. And having cut this piece here, I don't have that angle interfering with the inside of the mechanism on my my stamp. I can just line this up and punch. Okay, so now we have four daisies. Now, <clears throat> on the card, you can see we have one on the in outside, and then when you open it up, you have it on the, the inside as well. And those two are the ones that you want to have the yellow on. So we're going to take... Um, I think we should probably use some Tombow for this. It'll just hold up nicer. I'm going to put a little bit of Tombow in the center of the daisy that doesn't have the um, Daffodil Delight in the center. Then we're going to offset this so we have a nice full daisy. And we're going to put that aside to dry. Then we're going to do the same thing with this one. to offset it. Okay, now we're going to attach it to our card. This is our card front. We're going to put a little bit of snail right at the top of this circle and at the bottom of this circle. going to take the fishing the fishing um, line. I'm going to put a little bit more tombow right here on the back of this. You don't have to put too much, okay? But you do want to have it in the center there, okay? And once you have your fishing line. Oops. Vertically, I'm going to take your other daisy and line it up with that one and press it together so that the fishing line is sandwiched between the two daisies. Just give it a second to press on it. Give it a second for it to set. Okay? Now, this is the front of your card. You're going to Position this where it belongs, where it looks good. I think I have. I'm going to just. So, right there. This is where I like it. And I'm going to press my fishing line into my snail. Okay, on the top. And then I'm going to press it into my snail on the bottom. Alright, and there's that. 
Now I'm going to trim my fishing line. Because I want to make sure that this is going to stay nicely, I'm going to put a stamp and dimensional right on top of that. We're going to put the front of our card, our card front, up on dimensionals anyway, because if you didn't and press this down, that the the impression of that fishing line would show. So we're going to put stamp and dimensional right on top of that right there so that it gives it a little extra hold take the tops off then we're going to put some dimensionals on the back of our flirty flamingo and I love that these dimensionals are um, have little straight edges on them so you can line them up. Okay. Then we'll remove these as well. Center this right here. Make sure our circles line up and press. Okay. Now, probably should have put my ribbon in first, but I think I can make this work. I'm just going to run it through. I probably should have made my bow before I attach this, but because I use the dimensionals, it's just going to I can just scooch it right out the other end. Not the best way to do it, but hey, well, there's a well, there's a way, right? So we're going to center this up. Make sure it's even. And we'll tie it pretty well. on that. So now all we have to do is make um, our frame for the um, the daisy. And for that we're going to use the whisper, not the whisper, right, the daffodil delight. I'm going to bring my big shot back in. And Frameworks, I'm going to first put down first I'm gonna put down my circle and I'm gonna run that through. And after I take this circle off, I'm going to come back in with my scalloped edge and I think I'm going to go the next size bigger than that. That's too small. I'm going to go with this one here, a little bigger. This is the largest one. I'm going to center that around there and run that through. And now we have our frame. You could have done that in one passing of the through the big shot if you had done this because they do nest. I found, however, when I do it this way, I always get little indentations that I'm not crazy about. You can't you can barely see them, but they drive me crazy, so I choose to do it in two passes. And then I'm going to just oh, I think I'm gonna use a glue pen. Just going to come around, add a little bit of glue on my frame, and center that 
right there and push it down until it stays. Now, in the interest of time, I won't do it, but normally when I make a window card like this, I don't like to have the inside raw edge like this. I will make another frame and put that on the inside. But for the time being, <clears throat> until I finish it up, this is how it is. And isn't that pretty? Like I said, the uh, rain, the daisy looks like it's floating and um, it's a great little cherry card. So if you have any questions <clears throat> about this project, certainly contact me through my blog, www.stampwithanna.blogspot.com. If you leave me a message, hit the contact button and leave me a message, I will get back to you just as soon as I can to answer any of your questions. And um, on my blog, there will be... Um, a, com a list of the complete all the products that I used to make this card. I hope you enjoyed it and um, come back again for another video. Have a great day. Bye bye.